first question you might say is why are scales important? Well, every melody is based on a scale. Every melody. Hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of songs. So the thinking is if you know where these notes are located, you can more easily find where these melodies are played. And um, uh, there's all kinds of different scales uh, on, the, on the guitar. Uh, there's a lot of different major scales, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, by different, I mean every note has its own major scale. So there's a G major scale, A major scale, A flat major scale, C major scale, B flat, on and on. And these can be played at different locations around the fingerboard. And some of them get pretty advanced. You can start, uh, you know, major scale, which of course you all recognize from songs and from probably from grade school, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And what makes it a major scale is the spacing, the intervals between those notes. So you can study scales for years and years and years and years and always get more out of them. So it's a good place to start with some simple scales down the fingerboard. They use open string notes, that is unfretted notes, um, but it's really cool to see where they are and how they work. So let's look at the C major scale. So that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And let me play that again. And the first note is on the fifth string. And remember, the first string is the thinnest, highest pitch string. The sixth string is the lowest pitched string. So we're going to start on the fifth at the third fret. And our first note is C, then the open fourth string, D, second fret on the fourth string, E, third fret on the fourth string, F, and then open third string, G, and then the second fret of that third string is A. Is a and then the second string open, B, and the second string at the first fret, C. Let's try that together, starting on the fifth string, third fret. Ready? So that was Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do in the key of C. Again, the notes are starting on the um, fifth string, third fret, C, and then D on the fourth string, E on the second fret of the fourth string, F on the third fret of the fourth string, G, open third string, A, second fret, third string, open second string, B, and C. Let's try it one more time together. Ready, play. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, I mentioned before the spaces or the intervals between those notes are what define it uh, as, a, as a major scale. And those intervals hold for any major scale. And let me tell you what those are real quickly. The first note is played, and then you go up a whole step for the second note, another whole step for the third note, then a half step, and then a whole step for the fifth, a whole step for the sixth, a whole step for the seventh, half step for the eighth. So the half steps are between three and four and seven and eight. And again, that pattern is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So if we start on any note, anywhere on the fingerboard, and play that pattern, we're gonna get um, whatever, whatever note we're on, we're gonna get that major scale for that note. Now we played them ascending but you could certainly play them descending also. So here's ascending again.
Now let's try it descending. We're going to start on the C note, the Do of the second string, first fret. And we're going to go down in pitch this time. Ready, play. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's a C major scale. 